And, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I might also just be real excited to finally get to the next game. This game, to me, I was blown away upon learning of this next game. I don't understand how there isn't, like, an AVGN video on this game, because holy shit, it's incredible. So, our next game, little title, by the name of Virtual Lab. And oh boy, just from looking at that cover art, you can already tell we're in for a treat. Right, hold on, I need to get situated here. I got a lot of stay. I got a lot of say on this one. Released on December eighth, nineteen ninety-five, in Japan. Developed and published by J Wing. J Wing is a small company. Not a lot of info out there on them. They seem to have made a lot of games about. Breeding animals? Like a third of the library has ga- of, Like a third of their library of games has breeder in the title. And there's like dinosaur breeder, animal breeder, cat breeder, horse breeder. A lot of shit like that. And they're like, alright, let's make a puzzle game on the Virtual Boy. So Virtual Lab. Oh boy. This game. This one I've been both excited to get to and kind of dreading. This game is, well, I'd almost describe it as a scam. This game should not have been released. Essentially, the rumor is that J-Wing heard that Nintendo was going to discontinue the Virtual Boy, so they just packaged up what they had and shipped it so they could recover any lost costs on the development of the game. And after looking into this game, I believe this rumor 100%. First, let's take a look at the box art just a little bit closer. Just look at this shit. This is what I would expect to see on a 15-year-old girl's DeviantArt page. Not on the cover of a full price video game. Everything about it is terrible. The coloring and shading is an affront to my eyes. And what the hell are these puzzle piece things supposed to be? Okay, maybe I'm the fucked up one here, but they kind of look like weird foreskin tubes or like condoms. I don't like it. I don't like them. They're creepy. They're disgusting. Now, I want to draw your attention to the back of the box where the sentient condoms are having an orgy. Look down on the bottom right there. I don't think that's how you spell Nintendo. At least not when I last checked. But wait, it gets better. Here we have the cartridge of the game. Nintendo. Gee, I wonder if this is a rushed product of some sort. And it doesn't stop with the art for the box and cartridge. When the game starts, it asks you to pick a game speed between low, mid, and high. Fun fact, mid is the highest speed. And you get the same score no matter what speed you pick, so there's no point in picking anything other than low. Whenever you complete a level, you're given a password for your progress. Pretty standard at the time. Uh, well, fun fact, there's no way to input passwords into the game. So you get passwords to keep your progress, but you have no way to use them. Unsurprisingly, this game reviewed horribly, with many, with many calling it decisively the worst game on the console and one of the worst games they've ever played in their life. Between the horrible choppy graphics, the terrible sound design, the nightmarish controls, there's not really anything anyone liked about this title. The best I could find was someone saying the idea for the game is interesting, but it needed to be finished. Now, let's take a look at the manual. I was able to find a translation of it, but it was done where the text was separate from the images. No fully translated ones. But thank you again to Benjamin Stevens for translating this. There you go. Okay, first, if any Twitch mods are watching, those are puzzle pieces. There's nothing weird, there's nothing against TOS, they're just puzzle pieces. Anyway, that's right. This game has a story, and by god, it's the longest story of any game I've played yet. So here goes. In AD 2095, on a marine blue planet far from Earth, a cosmos station was made. Inside the station, a center for space development was placed, where many scientists gathered together, where various researches have been made. One of the scientists, Dr. Katagiri, who was also the head of the Virtual Lab Research Institute, was examining the ecology of the ultimate organism, Mu. Ha ha ha! If I announce the momentous discovery of this organism at the upcoming meeting of the Research Institute, my name can be increased even more! Feeling completely well, the doctor had been taking a nap in his room, when an assistant came into the room in a panic state and told him the following. 
Dr. Katagiri, this is serious. There's been an emergency. The two of them rushed to the special laboratory in a hurry and saw that the automatic room temperature regulator had failed. Due to the increase in room temperature, the Mu form had caused a pro... a proliferative reaction. Oh no! This is terrible! If this becomes known to the members of the Institute, my name will be tarnished! Mr. Kai, this cannot be mentioned to anyone. Because of this, I am going to hide for a while. This... Th what should I do about this situation? Just leave this matter to Lisa. Yes, because it is probably about the time when her classwork ends. So saying, the doctor went out the door. That isn't really a good reason, doctor! Kai also left the room, chasing after the doctor, who was already no longer visible. Okay, so I just want to take a pause here in the story to say that this doctor just created a giant issue of these self-replicating creatures that are going to basically flood the earth. And his answer was, I'm going to go into hiding. Go call my 13-year-old daughter to take care of this. She should be getting out of school right now. What's this? When I opened the door to the laboratory as usual, there was an unusual sight. Before my eyes, strange organisms covered the room from wall to wall. What are these? These are not the organisms that father had been studying. I didn't see anybody inside the room and wanted to run away. Unexpectedly, I noticed a note on the desk. R written on it was the cause of this situation and how to deal with the organisms. Having Mr. Kai's looking for the doctor note and father's I wish you the best message in hand, my body stiffened. From father. I'm sorry about everything, but I know you can take care of it. With such in front of my eyes, the moves continued to increase rapidly. Whew, okay, so that's the story. Let's get introduced to our characters. It's going to take me a second to get all this info set up. Alright. Alright, let me read this. The girl. I'm 13-year-old Lisa Katakiri. I have a very strong-willed and bright personality. Tentatively, I'm the main character of this game. Daughter of Dr. Stan. The little puzzle pieces of the moves are saying Mew, 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 Mew. And then there's a translation underneath it that says We, the protozoans, are called moves. We are numerous organisms of mystery. The old man. Ha, huh, I am 35-year-old Stan Katagiri. I serve as head of the research institute, if I may say so myself. I am quite a sharp and able person. With an irresponsible personality, however, see daughter's story. Young man, how do you do? My name is Ken Kai. I'm 18 years old. It is often said that I have an old head on young shoulders. Currently, I'm an assistant to Dr. Katagiri. Now, I normally don't bring up the objective pages, but this one is just, it's just incredible, and it has to be seen. All right, let me read this. Good grief. I also want to say that, like, the majority of this manual is written in the perspective of the 13-year-old daughter. Like, she's saying this to you. Or she's thinking it out loud. Good grief. I'm stricken by the irresponsibility of father. Ah. How shocked I am by this situation. I need to work at my fullest capacity. Okay. How to deal with this was written on that note that was in the, labor the laboratory. I'm... They keep switching between laboratory and laboratory, and it keeps fucking with me. According to this, since a moo breathes from the hole that is in its body, this hole should be blocked up. Well, essentially, if I block up a moo's mouth entirely, it should die of suffocation, don't you think? When a moo dies, it is said that it disappears, the body being disintegrated by the oxygen in the air. Hmm. It's okay if I do this separately. However, the goal is to erase lots of moves at the same time and to make them disappear in such a way that not even one organism remains. You there who is reading this, please operate me reliably. After all, I am depending on your skill. So yeah, nothing weird here. Just gonna starve these creatures' brains of oxygen until they die and disintegrate. Not only that, but we're gonna kill every last one of them. What a bloodthirsty 13-year-old girl. And finally, we have to thank Thunderstruck for translating this title. Alright, I think that's enough stalling. Let's play this scam. This tune kind of is rocking though. Oh, 
Okay, the tune doesn't go. This is just the. This is the tune. Enough. Okay, it's all awesome. Look at this. Wow. All right. Well, we don't want mid because that's just gonna make the game difficult. Wow. Did you see that amazing? Just well, okay. I'm noticing. I'm looking at our little character on the bottom right. She looks completely different than she looked in the manuals. I actually think the Arthur is actually kind of cute. It's a very cute drawn face. But the one thing I'm noticing is um, her chest seems to be more animated than any other part of her body. Why does it keep jumping up and down? What is this? And so yes, our puzzle pieces are constantly inflating. I feel like I'm fucking designing someone's digestive tract here. What is this? These are the moves. They look. They also look quite different than they did in the manual. They uh, they don't have little faces on them. They don't look like fucking foreskins. Although this, uh, this is, some of the imagery on these is uh, interesting. So yes, our goal right now is to just essentially it's supposed. To, it's kind of like it's kind of like pipe dream meets Tetris, and we kind of just want to block off every one of these exits that we can. And if it if it's up against the wall, that counts as being closed. Nice virtual boy jiggle physics. Yeah, dude, right? <laughs> right, dude? Okay. So, can I do this, though? Come on. Okay, that could be an issue. That could be a big issue, actually. Um... Yeah. Huh. Okay. Wait, this works. This works. Alright, check this out. She wasn't that stacked. The well, yeah, she's also a 13-year-old girl. I imagine she shouldn't be. Okay, uh... So... Do we have nowhere we can put this? Oh, no, wait, we can put this here. Yes. Dude, when we get another end piece, we're going to be fucking sitting quite pretty. If we ever get another end piece. Oh, no, wait. This is... This is getting fucked, actually. Oh, shit. An end piece! Also, why do the pieces appear just, like, randomly at the top? Look at that shit! Wow! Oh my, what is this? Alrighty, so yeah, this game, it's basically, it's actually really easy to get stuck. Like, if you place a piece that you can't top off or, like, close in any way, it'll just stay there forever. And the only way to close it is if you match ten pieces or more... Like I did. It'll cause that pixie to come across the bottom and then destroy the bottom row. Why? Who she is? What she has to do with the story or these moves? I got no fucking idea. Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. But uh, all I know is this game is fucking ridiculous. And not very good. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. Well, I guess it really wants us to close this off. So, uh, yeah, this is Virtual Lab, dude. This is the whole game. This is the only song in the game. And it plays the entire fucking time. It's clearly a very finished product. Very worthy of people's time and money. They charge full price for this shit. Not only that, but as with all piece of shit games, this is a collector's item. If you have a, if you have a copy of Virtual Lab, dude, it's worth, like... It's also worth like a thousand bucks. Who doesn't want this piece of shit? Minds you of a game you'd find in one of those 7,000 games in one? Dude, you are so on the money. It is basically like one of those. Look at these tubes! Like, what the fuck? Why do they like... I mean, I guess... Okay, I guess it's supposed to be alive, so they... Oh. Oh, we gotta take a rest, guys. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, just... Ah... Uh. Alright, that was a good rest.
Whoa! Transition! To the exact same thing! Oh, now there's just shit on the floor. Cool. Cool. And what, we have to use two pieces at once? This is fucked. This is fucked. Two pieces at once? Are you kidding me? What is that? What the actual fuck is that? What am I supposed to do with this? Um... What in the actual fuck is this? Okay. It... Uh... This is fucked. This is... Oh, wait. Or is it... He's a god. Okay, this, this, it also, that, my controller is actually doing pretty good. This game just occasionally, like, randomly moves your piece multiple times. <laughs> it's fucked up. This, this game is just fucked. Okay, wait, I, I think I can work with this. I can just do that, and then that. What do you think about that maneuver? You're just gonna keep giving me this shit, aren't you, huh? What do you think about this, huh? Fuck you! Okay, we're, we've got one of the pieces we need. Maybe if we just keep stacking this up, we can get this up to 10. Is that at 10? No, it's at like 8. Well, we can't use this piece then. Oh, oh, yes! Two with one stone. Uh, this again is fucked. What is that piece? What am I gonna do with that shit? Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Get this shit out of here. I need an end piece. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Watch this. Get out of here! Listen, I'm basically the greatest virtual lab player who's ever lived. You'll never see someone as good as this game as me. I dare you to find someone. Oh my god, it's the piece we fucking needed. Yes! And now watch this. Oh, what's that? Combo piece? How does he do it? How is he so- got my eyes! I'm sorry, I didn't give a seizure warning for this game. I didn't know. Well, I've made that an unsolvable piece now. That's cool. These are actually, literally everything on the board now is unsolvable at the moment. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. It's, it's, fuck. Uh, you know, fuck it. Just attach these to this. I don't give a shit. I'm. <laughs> I'm al I'm already so done with this game. Why should I why should I care? What's what's even worse is just uh destroying the bottom row isn't gonna be able to fix any of the shit we've done here. This is so beyond repairable. This is fucked. I'm just gonna try and get a 10 stack if I can. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. What is- what the fuck, dude? 
You just give me nothing but end pieces? What do you want me to do? Oh, shit. This is actually perfect. That was 10, right? I mean, it's still unsolvable. We need to clear a bunch more than that shit. This is... This is doomed. There's... There's no salvaging this. This board. It's done. On one hand, I want to spend more time with Virtual Lab to be like, hey, look at this funny game. It's so, like, it's so bad. But, like, this game is so bad. There's, like, there's nothing else to talk about. Like, you've seen the entire... This is the entire game. This is it. There's nothing else to talk about. Look at the funny bad game and how there's only five minutes of content. I guess let's see what happens when you get a game over. This game, this game though, like, I, I, I had a lot of fun learning about this game. Researching and le reading about, like, oh my god, like, this is definitely, they were just like, fuck this, get it, get it out of here, dude. No one's gonna play this shit, but maybe they'll buy it. Alright, let's die. Just kill me. Wow. Alright, that's it. And then it just takes you back to the main menu. That's the game. And then it just goes on forever. It's a good game, dude. I don't know why people don't talk about Virtual Lab more. It's just holy fuck.